vultures like to prey on the mentally dead because they they feed on dead carcasses mm -hmm. flat tv now we've seen our man ar app get put in a <laughs> terrible situation out in philadelphia mm -hmm. looking mm -hmm. like he's doing some time and immediately soon as he got put away the the comments and everyone immediately went to vlad the vlad interview the vlad interview vlad interview um one of my one of the parts of the on the sections of the book that i look forward to the most in culture vulture was the conversation about vlad and one of the things that surprised me the most is Dame in the book never called Vlad a culture vulture. Not in no. the book. No. So talk about that aspect. Talk about Vlad. Because when you say when you when you when you say that uh a vulture like feeds on a mentally dead, I can't help but to think of some of these rappers that go on some of these platforms and yeah. run in their mouth. So just <laughs> talk about that a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. At the time when we interviewed Vlad for the book, he was doing the exchange with Dame to be on his platform. So we told him what we were doing and he was like, game, he was like, cool. So he came through Dan's crib in Malibu. So we filmed him, he gave up a lot of great information. Actually, what's funny is in the questions we were asking Vlad, he was very apprehensive initially. Um, if you go back and watch the videos and I got to put the raw video, the raw footage of that up. Um, he didn't want to answer certain things about numbers. And so Dane was, uh, was, was all over him about it. You know, he's like, y'all, Give me the numbers. What, what's this? What's that? You know, you know, I damn you down. So he was putting pressure on him. And then Vlad started answering questions. And um, from there, uh, Dame and Vlad had a situation where they got into it. As you know, you saw the other video we put up where he was talking about Vlad being, I, I think, did we call it culture motion? Vlad's a culture motion? Or Vlad Maybe is. that you did. I think we yeah, heard I think something like that. And I talked to Vlad since then, but, you know, Vlad's cool, but. As far as people going on his platform giving up information, it's just the it's just the fools that do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like cast that rapper about selling dope, and they got packs in their mama's house. It's like, come on, man! Like you know what I'm saying? It's like you dumb or you stupid. Which one are you? You know what I'm saying? Ignorance is is, is very clear when a cat can go on a platform and tell all his business about what he's really doing or what he done did and tell on himself. You know what I'm saying? It's like they need to go listen to MF Doom song "Rap Snitches." You know what I'm saying? The, the chorus go "Rap Snitches," telling all their business, sit in the court and be their own star witness. Do you see the perpetrator? Yeah, I'm right here. Fuck around, get the whole label sent up for years. You're your own. You're you're putting yourself out there. You deserve what you get if you're putting yourself out there on any platform, Vlad included. You know what I'm saying? But as far as Vlad being tied to the feds. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I can't really speak on is he, is he tied to the feds, but you know, there's been some obvious signs that something's going on. You know, I haven't been on there, but I know some obvious signs that something's going on. Cause you know, immediately after that, what happened? Oh boy, got locked up. Mm -hmm. So we know somebody's paying attention, but it ain't that it, it, it could very well mean that. I mean, as we all know, we should know that they all watching, man. They paying attention to everything we do. They watching it. They're going to watch this show. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. If this ain't up live right now, they watching. They, I mean, they gonna watch. They gonna they they gonna listen for cues. They gonna pay attention to what's being said. It's it's obvious, man. It's obvious. Right Scary now. Times. Yeah, yeah. Do you would you guys um do y'all still like uh plan on doing business with uh Vlad in the future or what was that situation like? Mm, no, nah, not. I mean, for myself, I don't plan on doing business with Vlad. You know, Vlad has his lane. I can't speak for Dame. I doubt Dame will do business with him because, you know, him and Vlad had a little situation. Mm -hmm. And um, he kept, you know, Vlad kept calling Dame uh, when he was with his daughter. And Dame was telling him, like, you know, hold on, I'll call you back. But Vlad kept calling him. And then Dame kind of got, you know, kind of kind of got at him a little bit. And Vlad called me and told me that, you know, he was like, man, you know, uh, Dame, Dame uh, threatened me. And I was like, threatened you? How he threatened you? And he's like, yeah, man, wait, uh, I, I, I might have to tell the people over at uh, Complex how he's talking to me, you know, and then right after that, we didn't do any, we were, we were on our way to do something having to do with Complex, but it didn't go through. Um, I don't know if Vlad has something to do with it, but I know that he told Dame definitely, he told me that, you know, he didn't like the way Dame was talking to him or getting at him or something like that. You know, the video's up on YouTube, as you know, but, mm -hmm. um, and I told Dame and he was like, F Vlad and that was the end of that relationship. And I was kind of, it was kind of unfortunate because it was it was brewing to be a great relationship because Vlad was coming through some from time to time, just building with his breaking bread, come through, have a little breakfast or whatever out in Malibu. And it was cool. You know, I never had no problem with Vlad. Vlad was cool to me, but 
you know, like anything else, man, I just wait. Pe I wait for people to expose themselves. Once you expose yourself, then I have to. Then it's up to me to get fooled again, or if I just, you know, I back up from you, you know. But he's a cool dude, you know. But I don't know about the Fed thing, man. I've been paying attention, and I just think he he asks questions a certain way, and these dudes get these lights and these cameras in their face, and they get to saying anything, you know. what I'm saying because you're a rapper, don't mean you 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 understand. You have common sense, you know. what I'm saying yeah. we all know that. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying common sense is just something that's not given to everyone. Facts. We'll talk about that a little bit because we, oh God, and I talk about this a number of times on the podcast as well. We didn't come from an age where you told, they talked about anything. I remember the first time I got my tattoo and my grandfather was all over me. He was hot. You're a fool. What are you doing? You don't mark up yourself. That's how you, you telling on yourself. Yeah. You grew up under age where you didn't say anything. And now in 2018 with social media going crazy, it seems like it's the popular thing to do. So just talk about that and, and where that separation you feel like came about where we went from an age of not being not telling our business at all to telling everything. Well, I, I personally think that it's there's an error of an error of disconnect on parents, you know, um, the elders teaching the young on the prince about the principles of being a man, is including being a woman, you know, mainly being a man more than anything else. Um, there's a disconnect. So if you don't have, if your point of reference doesn't teach you how things go and that, you know, about telling on yourself, snitching or whatever it may be, or how to carry yourself among people, it's going to be, you have to learn these things through trial and error. And a lot, that's what happens. A lot of these guys learn through trial and error. And I bet, you know, the brother that's sitting in prison that was talking to Vlad, he's sitting in prison like, damn, I shouldn't have said nothing. You know, that's how a lot of us have to learn from falling on our ass a few times before we really get it. And so, but if your caregiver is not teaching you, how will you know? You'll know as you become an adult, you'll start experiencing certain setbacks and you can learn from that. But some people don't learn from these things, man. And they get on social media with all these distractions. They don't even take the time to know themselves. They have no knowledge of self. They're automatons, man. Their brain is styrofoam. They don't know themselves. I'll be seeing some of the stuff even being put up. You know, even when people was talking about Kanye West the whole damn month. I like, oh God. I put up a post and I said, you know, to the to the uh I said the one-eyed man is king to the mentally blind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And nobody really got it. It was a few people that got it, but it was like over their head. Why are, you, why are we looking to Kanye? to give us information about how to live our life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Are we, are you serious? This fool be going up and down. Why would I listen? Why would I listen to any really be honest with you? you why would you listen to anybody about how to run your life or how to do a certain thing? Well, there's so much information out here to read, to study. You can go to YouTube and find out how to do anything, how to bake a cake. Damn. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Why you don't have to, you don't have to go through anyone to get information, but people are lazy. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to take the time to do research. And that's what I that's what I did when Paul Stewart got out the way. I took my time. I did my research. I went through some different companies to learn how to put this book out. And I figured it out. I learned the book game. But it wasn't easy. But it's worth it. Because in the end, at the end of the day, you got to put in the work to to get achieved, to, to move towards achievement, man. And it's, it's no laziness. You can't be lazy when it comes to learning, man. Once you stop learning, you're dead. You're mentally dead. And that's what you see a lot of on social media, man. That's why people all day long is just focused on so many different. They focus on death, police brutality. They, oh, man, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I wait to go online. I put up my post, but I get off real quick, man. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, you even get numb to seeing booty up on videos, man. You get numb to the girl shaking her ass after a while. You be like, damn, this like, I'd be like, on some sites, man, I'd be like, damn, I like pretty girls like any other man. But sometimes you'd be like, damn, do all the girls strip? What's going on? What is happening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What is going on with with with, with the philosophy? I, what are these parents teaching their children? These parents are not teaching their children. They hanging out and going to clubs. They damn self when the kids was little. Mm -hmm. You got to sit still. You got to talk to your child, man. You got to have open dialogue with your children. And if you don't, look at what's, look at what's going on right now. And it'll get worse from the if you don't if you don't start implementing some conversations of communication with your child now imagine what it'd be 10 years from now man because we just seen it y'all y'all you know what I'm saying you guys mm -hmm. from the 90s so you know you've seen like how things have shifted 
Mm-hmm. Every yeah. 10 years, we see a different shift going on. And so 10 years from now, what's it going to be? What's, what has to happen is we have to individually get into, get back into, you know, raising our children, talking to our young, you know, our, our family members, our friends, you know, if they're willing to listen, though, you know, some of these youngsters ain't willing to listen. You know, yeah. they blinded by what they see. 